Hi, my name is Amy Moons, and I'm from the class of 2009, and I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who made 40 years of the arts at IHS possible. The memories I have of the arts program at IHS, I cherish them, and I carry them with me to this day. And when I think about what lessons I've learned during my time at IHS in the arts program, um, I think of a letter that Tony Award-winning theater maker Anna DeVere Smith wrote to a young artist. I think it articulates the lessons that my teachers, my friends, what I learned with them at IHS, in the plays that we did at Bac -a -Dos, in the classes of the French Bac Option Théâtre, in the history geography classes, it goes on. And that lesson is Use your art to question the world around you. Aspire to create art that challenges people to grow as individuals and communities to grow and evolve. That was the challenge that our teachers gave to us, I felt, as teenagers. And it stayed with me to this day, now living as an artist, digital artist here in Cambridge where I'm working on growing empathy for communities on social media. As my thank you, I'd like to read an excerpt from Anna DeVere's Smith letter to a young artist. And I hope it provides you with some inspiration in this time. The world is your lap. Dear student, I pick up the newspaper. Each world is different. An Israeli helicopter strike on Saturday. What is the world inside the helicopter? Two American women working as prison guards in the United Nations were killed in Kosovo on Saturday. Another world. Dear student, you can visit worlds. Not with the army, not with the airlines, but with your curiosity. The world is your lab. The canvas is the report or the dance floor or the sheet music or the computer, or the film. The world is the lab, the world is the substance. How much of the world can you absorb? As you go on this journey, dear student, I cannot promise safety. I can try to help bring you to a kind of artistic leadership, and that calls not for safety, but resilience, and breaking the molds when you can. Here's my big question to you and your generation of artists. It's a question that comes because we are now so very entrenched in a celebrity culture. Are you becoming an artist because you want the world to look at you? Or are you becoming an artist because you would like to use your ability to attract attention and the ability to get people to look at your work in order to cause them to see themselves and the world differently through you? The celebrity culture is turning in on itself. Now is the time to take the other path Use your ability to see things upside down and inside out to cause those around you to do the same. It might help them consider another route than the popular route. Absorb this fractious world, sift through it in your dreams, in your subconscious, in less than obvious ways, and give it back to a viewer or an audience so that they see the cover of a newspaper differently. The less popular route needs exploration. We are students of the human condition with our own course of study. The time is yours. Take it. Use it wisely.